iPhone launches. You know, it's funny when when you when you do this. The reason we do pieces of some pieces of research is because there's like a little binary event, and you think that that little binary event's going to have like some impact on the market. You know, because they've been sure, building it up sure. for a while, and then you realize that nobody cares, and the real you know the market cares way more about like. Oracle today and all the little tech stuff doesn't care about Apple. You know, I haven't heard, I haven't heard right. one thing about the Apple launch. I mean, Vanetta cares, but you know, she also cares about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're different so, world. You're so rude. You're so rude. It's not rude. She cares. There's certain things. She's an Apple girl, and she's a Swifty, and so she cares about certain things that are different than the things you and I care about. <laughs> I care more about that. Um, about that, uh, the uh, the brisket burger. sandwich somewhere, yes, yeah. I mean, I care more about the um, the onion soup burger than I do care about the apple, whatever you want to call it, apple lunch. <laughs> uh huh. Um, I am about. Oh, I finally got filled. You did say, get I'm, filled. So I'm about to say, I'm about to sell futures at fifty six. Which mm -hmm. is my first sale today. That's where you did uh, sell fifty six. I know. Um, I wanted to get short, so you got to put your money where your mouth is. Yes, you do. Um, let's do it. iPhone launches a historical review. This is kind of fun because we decided to look at like you know, but uh, company binary events. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the first slide. So Apple 17 launched yesterday. We examined 11 years of data across every iPhone launch mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. the iPhone 6 in 2014 through the iPhone 16 in 2024 to focus on price behavior of the stock and the volatility dynamics around the launches. How did they only go through from 6 to 16? Well, I guess one a year, maybe. All right. Um Let's take a look. Go to the next slide, John. So the price behavior around recent iPhone launches, one month before to one month after, four out of five of the one-month returns were up. That's now, good. It's, I mean, if you like the stock, right? Yeah, I mean, meaning that, I mean, isn't this kind of like the classic buy the rumor? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, one month prior, um, and which is exactly what happened in Apple this year. One month mm -hmm. prior, mm -hmm. stock went kind of straight up. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. So it's it's for sure a buy the rumor. Let's go, let's go to the next slide. When we look at 15 days out, the distribution skews negative with 58% of the post-launch moves negative which follows a sell the news phenomenon. Yeah. And that is exactly what we saw this time as well. Yeah. It was a buy the rumor and it was a sell the news. But as we've shown in previous slides, the market, the markets have a tendency to lean bullish one month out. 67% um, of the price moves fall between minus 3% and plus 2%. Man, that distribution curve never fails. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers, so funny, right? Large numbers seem to come in right spot on all the time. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to the next slide. So, this table compares annualized volatility before and after launches. Mixed outcomes. There is no guarantee for a vol spike or crush. So beware for beware of overpaying for implied volatility. Um, so let's just take a look here. Um, kind of pre-launch volatilities from 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12, and then post-launch. I you couldn't draw a single thing from this. I was gonna say, what do you what do you make of this? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Because I don't see anything there either. This is the argument for this whole piece today is the argument for buy the rumors on balance, buy the rumors sell the news, buy rumors, sell news, and understand that many of the results are incredibly random. <laughs> Which is exactly what we talk about all the time, right? I mean, we're always looking- Stop. Right. 
Right. But sometimes you need. To but we we it. we concentrate more on on selling the news than buying the rumor. I mean, it's it's rare. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. But okay. there's not even a volatility play here. Right. 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 Let's go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. So some of the key takeaways. Um, first of all, price action is more muted than expected around launch days, as most price moves were within 3%. Now, when you're talking about a $230 stock, a 3% move is still a pretty big move. Sure. But, um, uh, you know, it's five, six, seven points, whatever. But uh, on a percentage basis, nothing much. Sell the news, bias dominates. There is downside skew in price um, with an average price move of down at, at least a half a percent, 14, 15 days post-launch. Um, okay. And volatility is inconsistent for each launch. This goes has 10 years of data. Option traders should stick with tactical frameworks like debit spreads and iron condors or whatever else you want to do. Mm -hmm. But there isn't a necessarily a pure pure play volatility play at all. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right here. And if you want to meet me and the team in person at our next live event, hit the link at the top of the description.